Welcome back, everyone, to yet another episode of Tiki Mead. Um, we've got what? What is that? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Seven meads today uh, from Birminghorn Meadery out of Milton, Delaware. Um, so we sent a couple of our friends up because they were they were heading up to go have a good time up in Philly. And I can't go anywhere. So. And uh, I had to work. So. Yeah. So they went up and they just happened to be driving past. And they were like, hey, you want us to stop? So they, they stopped, uh, tasted 10 different meats, if I remember correctly. Um, and took a bunch of pictures for us. So that'll all up, be up on um, Instagram for, for y'all. Yeah. You're all viewing pleasure. Yeah. Um, talked to the owner and or the owners and uh they said good to go on on this so we're doing it and picked up some of the ones that they thought we would get a kick out of so a little bit about about them first you want to go ahead and take that over yep so the bremen horde meadery is a 20-year dream of a man from the backwoods of ohio with a thirst yeah. for history and fermentation go bucks <laughs> go bucks. that man is me not yours truly but John Talkington, the founder of the Birmingham Meadery. He's combined these loves into the compelling, unusual, tantalizingly delicious beverages that will be created at the Birmingham. <clears throat> Both he and Robert Walker Jr., his business partner, believe that the Birmingham Meadery is more than a place to sample mead. It's a meadery with a lifestyle attached. The name of the meadery and the names of their meads are more than a theme, they are a passion. Usually mead is a drink, linked to the northern european peoples so most of their meads are named after northern european gods and goddesses and beings found in the mythologies of those people the symbol for their meadery is a horn overflowing with mead oh that doesn't have it on uh, oh that doesn't have it. sorry guys a brimming horn would be passed amongst friends and kinsmen to drink toast boast oaths and bond people together there you go we hope our mead will be able to do just that amongst everyone drinking it. We hope to create a place where family and friends will continue, will come to share a beverage and create many happy memories. John and Robert have a collective 20 plus years in the craft beer industry working for Delaware's largest craft brewer. I did not realize it was that they had been going at it for that long. Yeah. Uh, John's 12 plus years as a professional brewer and three years as a professional winemaker make his resume extremely impressive. Dealing with small and large batches is old hat for this brewing veteran. He loves reading fermentation science, historical brewing pamphlets, and cookbooks for the next delicious meat idea. Robert has been working at the brewery for over eight years and has his hands in almost everything, starting in packaging, moving to the warehouse, and then finally to the newest position of inventory fulfillment specialist. He's seen it all. This gave them the confidence to take the needed steps to finally go commercial. Both men are happily married and each have a beautiful little girl and joining JR and his wife Heather last Friday last February was their little boy Edwin. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, congrats. Uh, when not working at their jobs or hanging with their families, they are working on the meadery. Cool. And they got a plethora of awards for both of them. Yeah. You Holy. guys can go onto their webpage and look at all this, all these, these things. They've been in uh, newspaper articles and stuff like that. Um, and Ohio State Fair, nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so bunch of stuff going on. But we're gonna get this out of the way. Oh wait, we'll figure that out. Um. Anyway. We do have both of our friends that went up there with us, so they'll be joining us here in a moment. Y'all want to come on over and have a seat once Mari decides to get off her phone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> come on in, guys. We're getting called out. Come on in. <laughs> oh, scoot over here. Switch it. Yeah. Yep. Everybody's squeezing on the couch. Here. This Everybody's is probably going to be a really long episode. Sorry, guys, <laughs> but, yeah. but here we are. Hello. Hi. All right. So what do we got up first? Um, let's go with the can. Okay. You can go ahead and that figure that out. 
Pepper Cacor. I don't know. It's a honey raisin wine. Comes in at 9% alcohol by volume. Um, looks like it's a little bit more than just a pint. 19.2 um, ounces. Yeah. <laughs> uh, inspired by the Swedish pepper cacor or ginger snap cookies. A festive blend of honey, raisins, ginger, cloves, cinnamon, and molasses to give that holiday ginger snap flavor. Glad you will. Nice. So, All right. Cool. And it's got, got a really cool yeah, mm -hmm. raisin on the front. So yeah. cool. All right. So satisfying. <laughs> yeah, this one's kind of dark and got a bit to it there. I'm trying to get If you want to go ahead and pour four of those out. Oh, you will be. Got a beautiful color to it, kind of thick. Um, not as much of a head as you would expect, but got a yeah, it does kind of like dissipate. Yeah, it does dissipate. Um, but uh, beautiful color, beautiful smell. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot of the uh, the, 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 the mulling spices that are pretty common yeah. with stuff like this. Um, there's you know the, the cloves, the cinnamon. The nutmeg, um, the raisin is kind of an interesting yeah, addition I, to a mead. I personally don't like raisins. Um, yeah. Um, but, well, that's the thing. It's, like, it's an interesting flavor to add in. And we're doing this all out of order. I, I you guys said they had an order you were supposed to do it in. Dry or sweet? Yeah. Well, it was. Well, it was in a shape of a boat. Yeah, a it, long boat. It was really cool. We got a picture yeah, of it, so we'll share. A tasting boat. All right. Really cool. What? Oh, okay. What do you guys smell? <laughs> he jumped the gun on I us. Smell the most I sweat. smell alcohol, which is less than what he could say. I, I want to say the raisin comes out, mm -hmm. and then definitely the, the hint of honey. All right. Go ahead and taste. What about the flavoring? I already put my two cents in on the smell. That's what I was talking to you about. I know. We have guests, though. You can kind of taste a little bit of the raisin. The Ooh, raisin they need to catch the, up. The pepper comes in a little bit at the beginning. Then you have the honey that's a really smooth transition. And you got the raisin at the pepper? end. Yeah. It's not too strong. So it's it's how I, it, yes, it's yeah, too I think your taste, yeah, the ginger and the clove and the cinnamon. The, cl yeah. it's the clove is oh, getting spicy. There we go. Molasses. Yeah. The molasses is a, mm. it's a sweet under. It's a, it's, it's a yeah. very, it's, it's a slight, it's a very complimentary undertone with the honey. Yeah, it's. Yeah. It also adds that dark, uh, kind of caramel color. Definitely one that, uh, you sit back and drink easily without, uh, without much worry. Yeah. While well, you watch other cartoons. Yeah, probably. Um, all right. I guess if you want to set up the growlers, mm -hmm. you remember Golden Goddess? Yes. That was, if you yep. want to go ahead and talk about that one, I got to go get a bottle of it. Yes. I was, uh, I was a little indulgent and I got the Golden Goddess's growlers because this one's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cider, it's a cider and mead mixture and it has a, it, so it's a, it's, 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 it's honey and it's a, 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 it's apple. But it's really sweet, mm. um, but it's it's not over, overly sweet. It's just, it's uh, but it's a uh, it's really pleasant. Oh, yeah. oh. But it's uh, apple and honey. Well, go ahead, so. and, uh, Dave. You want to go ahead and take care of that? Yeah. Right. Sure. Do what we usually do this at the beginning of the or before the episode so starts. Kind of... But it's uh, oh, fuck. we screwed this up. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why we wanted to open it. How many people? Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's a nice sound. Okay. There, right? Yeah. I guess I'm just special. This is just fun. Yeah. This is this is our really lady. This this. She's I threw it special. at hand. So well, do we really want to pour a a seeing one because we can see through them? That's true. Yeah, it does kind of defeat the purpose. Yeah. yeah. Good clarity. All right. You know what? Here. Well, we'll list it. We'll do it. Yeah. Let, <laughs> let the women. Let, let us help. Let okay. us. Yeah. Let's help. They're gonna take over. Close that. Their, Just close for that. this one. Just They're for gonna this take one. over our channel, dude. Skull, right? Just this one. Apparently. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the 
the other thing that's, um, been French for a while. you guys were talking about was how the the actual tasting room was taken was set up. It looked like a longhouse, and it was really cool. They were inviting, and the first, the biggest, the biggest. Um, so I'm actually follow a lot of the Nordic beliefs myself, and I think it's very very cool to experience the the element of the with the, the hospitality. It's very very important. You respect people. You respect your your. I can't talk today. Um, <laughs> you respect your guests. And they and respect you in, in turn. Nothing happens in your house. You, you're, if they're hungry, you, they, they're fed. If you're if they're thirsty, they you drink. They, they drink. Yes, you enjoy. Here, That's got like a anymore. candy smell. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, like a fruit a, candy. Yeah, but not. But like I don't know what. But I also don't know like okay, what gotcha. what which one it would be. So the first thing we noticed when we pulled in was there's so many cars. Like, yes. There was no spot to park. Well, that's how you know it's good. Yeah. And the the purse and the they were selling all these. Day, what, the, what was that? It was the, this, the gentleman who actually crafted the meat itself. Uh, mm. The main. John. John. Oh, I believe we talked with him about asking to. And he was really. He was really nice. Yes. So yeah, like we were saying, it's kind of kind of got like a, a candy-ish smell to it. I don't, I, I maybe I'm just weird, but it's I'm not It's some gonna... kind of citrus. It doesn't taste like, like an apple. Unless we mixed up the tapes. No, it's, um, it's definitely apple. The goddess was only apple, actually. Mm -hmm. Do you not, is it not? Yes, yeah, it's, it's not an apple, apple that I recognize. Yeah. It's I very mean, carbonated. <clears throat> so if they got that. I it's have like a description on my phone. Yeah. If you hand uh, it over, I, yeah. can, I can get, we have this. So they had, yeah. they had 12 you could try there. I'm pretty uh, sure this was supposed to be a semi-sweet. Okay, so. <laughs> it's pretty sweet for a semi-sweet, but yeah, there have been some that have I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like cheating, that. but we, we, I want to I wanna be a. Uh, Correct on this. Yeah. Because the flavors, we, we took a picture of them, so we would have the listing. And I know we sent it. However, this is okay. We can make this work. Right? Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Ta-da! So this was the goddess? What is it called? Golden goddess. goddess. So, the golden goddess is a sweet, and it's apples lightly carbonated, and it's light, it's lightly carbonated, and the and the and the six point five percent alcohol by volume. So it's, so it's a hard cider. Okay. So it's but, well, it, it's got the honey though. Yeah. yeah. So it's. It's a sizer. Yeah, kind of closer to a sizer. Um, what does sizer actually mean? It's a style of mead. Um, that you have a mead base and then you add cider. Okay. But if we're mistaken... Is. Sorry. <clears throat> but this is, by the way, I taste the apple up front. Yeah, it... It's just, it's not an apple that I recognize. Which, it's not a bad thing. I, like the I would just like to know yeah. what kind of apples that they I use. Like mm. They're not going to tell me. Tell them what you so, about it initially. So, what do you guys think? <laughs> Obviously, you liked it because you bought a growler of it. We enjoyed the, well, I, I, I really enjoyed the overall flavor because it's something I can sit down and just throw back slowly. Of course, I could probably throw the whole thing down, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. I have to do homework sometime. <laughs> Can't <it> last. <laughs> For us, do that last. Okay. And um, but it, it, I, I enjoyed it because of the the flavor was. I don't know what, what's the right word. Reminds you of something that, that you had that it went like that. The Maybe as a kid. Yeah. Um, Bubbly, but as a kid. Yeah. Like in the morning. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. But oh, that's why, obviously, I like it. Oh. So, mm -hmm. long windy. Okay. Okay. Carry on, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So, that'd be the next one. This, this is, is a, a Hecate. Yeah, orange. Orange wine, or honey orange wine with natural flavors. Um, Can I read it? Can yeah. I read it? Can I read it? Can yeah. I read it? This is one okay. of my favorites. It's weird. 
Speak up um, a little bit. It, it's a blend of pure honey, oranges, rose petals, black tea, and ginger. Hmm. Sounds insanely complex. complex. Yeah, so it's named after the Greek goddess of magic. Ah, <clears throat> and I do like this. Uh, where was it? So in Greek mythology, Hecate was, in some of the myths, she's portrayed as having three the goddess of three faces. Hmm. She was young in the morning. By midday, she was a young, or she was a, um, you know, younger woman, uh, you know, 20s, early 30s. And then by evening, she That's was weird. an old crone. I so kind of the, yeah, uh, I it wasn't that clear. like the, the mother, or the, uh, yeah. maiden mother crone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, very light, very clear, with just a yellow, a little bit of a yellow so, tinge. Not much of leg of leg coming out. I get the orange. I can smell the orange. And I smell the tea. I think. I think I'm smelling the tea. Thank you much. Maybe a little bit. There's a lot of flavor, so you're gonna smell. Yeah. Them, or at least taste a lot. Yeah, it's kind of precise. Mm -hmm. I can taste the tea. And then all the other kind of flavors just kind of meld into it. Ooh. Yeah, I can definitely pick up that tea. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, just like you said, it kind of rolls together. Ginger. Yeah, the ginger is a little tea. spice. Yeah, but not it's not overpowering. And good. what was the other one? It was, uh, I feel like I could taste the rose petals a little bit. Yeah, but it doesn't... The flavor oh, of rose. A lot of places, a lot of things that you add that flavor it's, to, it's, it's hard to get it right. It's yeah, it's overpowering right. or it's... It's not enough. Yeah, or it's not enough, you don't even know it's there, but it's, it's real smooth, it's real, the flavors don't mold real hard together, they're, you can, you can nice. taste each individual one. Yeah, it, it, and it goes smoothly across each other. Yeah. And that many flavors, you would think would fight each other, but they really don't. Yeah, no. It's almost like it goes from one to the next flavor. You know it what? It kind of just works together. Yeah. You know what kind of reminds me of going into a um, a um, like Mystic Moon or uh, I'm trying to think of a, a a magic shop. A magic shop, or yeah. There you go. Shop or just a small. Thing. I wouldn't say head shop, but yeah, the, the, the feel. All right. Sure. It's not as neat. Yeah. This is the one I think you picked. You That's texted. one of the ones that I had asked about. Um, yeah. We got it. There were two others that didn't make the list. Apparently. Didn't make the list. Um, Sorry. So this is uh, Hill Dweller. Right. It's uh, made with pure honey. So this is from the Beehive and Desolate Lands. Made with pure honey, yeast, bog myrtle, tarragon, juniper berries, and rosemary. Hmm. So... From ash grows life, and the seed survives. Hmm. It's got what looks That's like really cool a modernized Draugr on the front. Yeah, it's kind of cool. <clears throat> yeah. I need to get a better bottle opener. So I know that we've had one in the past that was rosemary flavored, and it yeah. was a little too strong. Oh, wow. Very or light. Mm -hmm. What are those? Very light, it's but very water-colored, bubbly. Yeah. What type of water are you drinking, man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's yellow. Water. The, the tap water. Gross. Hmm. Get all cold here. Kind of a. It smells like a dry. Yeah, it smells like a dry. Kind of spins like one too. <laughs> <laughs> Run out of clear glasses here. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. It definitely has that. I mean, it's a beautiful aroma, just very. Yeah, just and it just the flavors sound sounded interesting, so mm -hmm. I figured we would try it. Hmm. Smell the rosemary. Yeah. It, and it's it's a pleasant because I love rosemary anyway. I love to cook so. 
I think I'm tasting the juniper berry. There at the end? Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, I'm tearing, I'm tearing. But it doesn't feel like a, like a dry. No. Even though it smells like what you it would It smells expect. harsh, and it has all those intense, like, kind of herbal, earthy smells. Mm-hmm. It's a little softer than that. Yeah, yeah you would it is, it's a lot softer than what I was expecting. Um, that there, this, like, the rosemary's not as intense as, you know, the last one we tried. Oh, the um, The Scarborough Fair. Um, oh, the it, Matthew, where it was yeah. rosemary and thyme, which, it was good, it's just... It was very strong. It's very and strong. And rosemary's are finishing note, um, which, is, which is well, and that's what I love about this one is it's a finishing note and not and in the main concept. Is that the last one? Yeah. No, no, we got two more down here. The last. No, this is this is oh, okay. golden tears. So golden tears, um, honey mead, coming in at Ooh. eleven to fourteen percent. They don't know um, for sure. Somewhere in there, which. It's kind of cool. Um, like I said, Golden Tears. Um, the mead's name comes from the myth of Freya's uh, of Freya who cried tears of gold for her lost lover. Um, it's uh, crisp yet dry and floral. All it says for the description hmm. for us was honey. Was honey. Honey. Oh. Honey, her lover, dry, uh, 11 to 14 percent. And this was the yeah. when they, this was the first one. It was a traditional. Oh, yeah, and they also six. Yeah, was, they have these convenient yeah, you don't need a, corks. You don't need a corkscrew. So they put this when they so, put I, the 10 in the little boat, they put the 6 as the most dry because it was done from dry this to be sweet. like their traditional. Yeah, 6 was their most traditional and it was the, the most dry of all theirs. I got it. Uh, uh. I'm trying to help. You make Sorry. me do a party foul here. That's fine. Okay, now I need your help. <laughs> really? Let's we'll do it this way. Party foul. Hmm. Okay. okay, I guess we're trading. All right. Hey, you know, equal opportunity. Yeah. Sorry. All it's right. never equal. You make more than me. Not for long. And no, I don't. I only make more than you because I've been in longer. Thank you. All right. First of all, you have my horn. And I want it. So. Well. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. So. It smells yeah. sweet. Yeah. All you get is the honey. Yeah. I mean, because it's kind of what it's supposed to be. Yeah. It smells sweet? I thought. Is your, is your sniffer not working right now? No. I'm just trying to figure out where you guys are from. Because this says it was the most dry. Do you guys smell that at all? Mm, flavor. The flavor. As soon as you taste it, okay. it's definitely a dry. Um, yeah, it is an immediate. But not as. It's not very. It's, it's not as. It's no. It's actually not. I mean, it's it's got some bitterness to it, but it's not as harsh mm -hmm. on the dryness. It's softer. Yeah, it's a soft dry. Which sounds hard weird. bitter. Is that like hard water? It's a weird description. Like tap water? Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> much better than tap water. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's dry, but it's it's not as harsh Do you guys get that honey taste, ones. though? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, that. Okay. And it's also, even though it's dry, it's very drinkable, obviously. Um, oh, oh, you forgot to say, how, um, you can order these. Online. Oh, yeah. So they also ship to 43 different states, yeah. including Virginia. Um, yeah, so, and they've got a plethora. Plethora? Plethora. Plethora I, is the anyway, word you're looking for. Of different types. I mean, we still got two more to go. Um, but. And we got more coming on the way. Yeah, yeah, we got a few more coming on the way. So, this is one. They thought we would like. Yeah. Remember those hot ones that we were trying? Mm hmm. This another one? This mm -hmm. another one. You want to pull well, up I guess the... Inferno kind of gives it away, huh? Yeah, Tropical Inferno. Mm. Corset Growler, again. It is lightly carbonated. It has honey, pineapple, and habanero pepper in it. And it is, what is that? It's 8%. Alcohol mm -hmm. for honey. Sounds pretty mild. So 
this one is it was good when we tried it but it didn't have that habanero taste that all the other ones that we've had the, the spicy ones it, it didn't taste like those I felt it, like it is it more me... heat or no flavor? it was very mild heat hmm. So like it's more um, of a... I, I tasted the heat at the end, but it was also with the carbonation. Mm -hmm. So it just felt like the bite from the carbonation. Mm -hmm. It wasn't super spicy. I was expecting I mean, I can a little smell more it a little bit. I like that. I, I can smell that it's there. Mmm. Yeah. But there's some sweetness that's around it, too. I didn't burn your nose and smell it. Yeah, it's like, you probably shouldn't have dip your nose into it. it. No. no. But tell me when the heat actually hits. Okay. When it sits in your mouth, when it's down your throat, is it the carbonation that hits? Hmm. Right? It's not... Sweetness, then there's a... There's a there's it kind of just sits there. I'm not, yeah, it's I'm a, not feeling the heat at the end, though. I'm not. It's, it's a mild heat. Like, yeah, it's super it's not, mild. It's not even hot. It's not what you like, expect with, like, it's, spiced it's meat pleasant. like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very pleasant because well, we like to try it. I got an initial like burst yeah, of pineapple. Trying it with them, yeah. Yeah. Like we, get to be, we actually get to talk about it and actually yeah. get to taste it a second time. Yeah. If, it can avoid, if you yeah. like the flavor of the pepper, but don't like the kick, this would be a good one for you because it's it's a very mild, mild touch, not yeah. a and it doesn't linger. Your face. It doesn't, and it, and yeah, it doesn't it, linger. It's there. And then it's gone. And it's gone. And the pineapple mellows it out. Yeah, it, it starts off with that pineapple flavor, which is really nice. This is one you need to try to make risotto with. Think so? Yeah, risotto with, ooh, risotto with chopped up pineapple in it. Ooh, ooh. We had it. We had mm. it. Yeah. You you didn't think the, the, the other meat was going to work, and what did I do? <laughs> well, I also don't have an onion. We can, can't you DoorDash an onion? Uh, it's called Instacart. Why would you, you DoorDash just like an onion? And you gotta spend like bucks. Oh, no. For right. just an onion. Yeah. You know, you should just yeah, put your you money order You gotta Instacart like 30 onions. bucks to get. I mean, <laughs> at that point, I might as well just we'll Instacart eat. either we'll alcohol or chips. I'd be chips. taking some home. Yeah, no. I mean, I need it home. So, away. that carbonation mm. really feels good, too. Mm. Yeah. It, it does kind of mask that level of heat yeah <laughs> that's really that's really pretty yeah i'm really I happy like you that. grabbed that i like that oh are we losing you <coughs> oh she's me oh, sneeze. I sneeze. anyway so this one as requested by the ladies we would do this one last we'll go ahead and read that one so or you, is... do you what do you want to read it okay i, I can we twisted her arm yeah, yeah. a little bit oh uh, if I find it first. What's the name so, of it? Freya's Kiss. Um, I don't think it was on our list. So it's a mix between, it I'm pretty sure it was mesquite and honey, right? I know it was the mesquite, mm. but I think it was also the honey that they had listed. This wasn't one of the ones at the tasting, but um, I remember reading about it and I really wanted to try it. So we got it and um, it, it turned out to be really good. This mesquite is one of my favorites. Mesquite sounds like an interesting... The mesquite will hit you, but not how you expect and it tastes okay. really well, because good. like, so I've smoked. It tastes plenty smoked. of like meats with mesquite chips. Yeah. And it has a very distinct flavor. You, I think I'm pretty um, sure. Like I'm almost positive you'll get that whenever you taste this. Probably. Okay. It was my favorite. I thought the was it Hecate? I thought that one was my favorite, but then this one. Well, you. So she had a tasting of this already and wouldn't let us taste it so this is enjoy yeah it sounded like she wanted us to have a surprise yeah mm. <clears throat> you're still hanging over them i mean they'll figure it out i don't know why we waited okay i haven't had the tea yet <clears throat> you get the there's a there's a touch of that mesquite at the back of the smell but not like mm. it's very faint yeah Almost like it's being hollered from the other room. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good? Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's... You okay? 
Yeah, it wasn't... I'm not... I wasn't expecting that. That just... How do you describe that? Because you get the sweetness, and then this, like, almost... Sm not, real, not full smoky? It's almost like... That's crazy, it's, just, right? it's yeah. such a weird like. It's a weird way to put it in a drink. Well, and not works. just that, but like the way that you you taste it is strange because you get this just a burst of sweetness that is like wrapped with. I guess like I don't know if like sushi is the best analogy, but you have like you know how you have the rice wrapping you know the octopus or you know the the shrimp or whatever it is that you're eating. Yeah, it's like it's. It's like layered, and it's, it's a distinct layer, but they meld pretty well together, and it doesn't just blend like just as a generalized flavor. It's honey, and that's been wrapped in like this smokiness, like yeah. smoked honey. Yeah, yeah, smoked. So, yeah. So can I put it in <clears throat> these terms? Where this would this would be how I could, how I can say it? When you have an outfit, you have items that match it or you have items that just go this is one of those that matches and goes yeah it works it, it, makes it, sense. it yeah. you don't <laughs> if you're ordering but, yeah and you feel like for the females you want to give it a try you, if you're on the fence jump the fence get it because yeah. you will be pleasantly it's, surprised it's an interesting flavor but it's a good one um it's very it's nice and sweet um, wow. it's definitely one that I would be completely comfortable with drinking. I have a horribly beautiful idea. Mm -mm. I won't twist my mm -mm. arm. Take a shoulder. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And soak it in the Inferno and... Yeah, in the... But, so soak it in the Inferno, Inferno after injecting this one. And then, mesquite... You, to add to that mesquite taste, use mesquite chips. So... I don't like injecting fluids. I know you don't, so I'll try it. Uh, excuse me. Oh, hey. Into the it's coming like down. So, like the most that I've ever done is the uh, the jelly in the pocket. <clears throat> Which is good. It's something we can talk about off camera. We can give it a try off camera. Yeah. Anyway, so final thoughts. What do you think? Yeah, like Brian's kiss. Sorry. <laughs> okay. It was all really good though. I thought that the, the the place was really cool to go to because you had to get a sense of community. Just like walking into a longhouse, you are being welcomed by your guy, by your by your host, and you are you feel welcome. And mm. the flavors were well developed, and you can tell the craftsmanship was pleasant. Everybody loved it, and they even had a cookbook, even though their meads were in it. There was somebody who actually, they, I'm pretty sure it'll happen eventually, because I almost did get it. <laughs> a meat cookbook? Yes. Nice. Meat, yeah, and it was for pairing with meats and cooking with it, but it, all the flavors we did, we did try were, was really cool, and the people that were actually had them on tap on draft, they knew their flavors, and they could tell you, if, if they could tell you, uh, if, if they could tell you anything on point without looking it up at all. Okay. And they nice. felt like they were family there, which was the coolest part. Nice. Okay. So it's worth going to if y'all, whatever you're not. But I'm not grinding. Like, yes. Mm -hmm. David? Um, <clears throat> I would probably just say that I'm very pleasantly surprised with how well they were able to get, like, eat, you know, the flavors, just like, just in general, just how much they're able to bring those flavors to the table and get them to match up uh, the way that they do. Um, but I was very happily surprised. Uh, especially with that, uh, the juniper berry one, that one sounded just, I was, when I first read the description, I was like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, that one. But there. I was, I think no, dwellers. this one, it was this one. Yeah. Was it that one? Yeah, it was this one. Oh, yeah. The hill dwellers. Um, I was just, it's, it caught my attention just because it's, it's not a typical flavor profile yeah and so i wanted to i wanted to try another rosemary one I mean, it's just because i like the smell of rosemary i love the smell of fresh rosemary um and i was hoping for that i didn't quite get that but 
the flavor overall was very good. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you, you guys did a great job, or have done a great job with developing these flavors um, the way that you have. So, just keep brewing. Um, I mean, you've, you guys have been doing it long enough, you've figured out what works. Um, I, there's not much, there's literally nothing that I think I would change. Yeah, it's <clears throat> between the hospitality that the girls got, the from the pictures I saw, the way everything looked, and and the way I, I could see that it, how it would feel. You know, there's shields hung on the walls. There's there's statues of the gods and goddesses, and there's horns and like it's that was so cool. you know it, it's yeah. what I would expect a modern longhouse to look like and oh and that fire pit they have a fire pit that looks like a long ship which that's just awesome and then i've got to build one of those tasters um the flavors are amazing i'm i'm really surprised with the the uh, molasses i was not expecting that flavor of the molasses it's mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times it's an overpowering flavor, but it wasn't. It's, it works. It's a handshake with the honey instead of smacking the honey. Like, mm -hmm. it, but they've all been, they all were amazing. And this is seven of 12. And there might, I think there's actually more because you said Freya's Kiss wasn't on there. Yeah, there was like two or three that weren't on there. Well, there was two that I had asked for that didn't quite make the cut, apparently, so. There were no, also you were judged very hard. Wait, and um, there was all, there were also <coughs> at barrel. least one of them made it. Oak barrel casks. Mm. Oh, okay. We didn't like, so, we, but sounds we were like trying to keep it simple. So <coughs> it's simple. definitely something we're gonna once I'm allowed to come up yeah. and give it a go. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the beautiful guys, absolutely beautiful. So, which one would you all? Kill. Yes. Okay. Can I say it? Phrase kiss. Sorry, guys. I don't know if that was your favorite, but that's my favorite. All right. Cheers. Becca. Sweet. Oh. oh, we didn't even introduce. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Becca. <laughs> yeah, we. This is Mari. She's. Well, she's been on the channel before. Yeah. Let's just your first this one. whole thing in here because yes, I will. It's yours. Yeah. Go okay. for it. Go for it. This is um, you finished the bottle. <laughs> the three of us deployed together two years ago. Well, no, it was all four of us. We all went to Puerto Rico. Did you go to Puerto Rico? No, no, no I thought, I thought you went. No, I went no. to we did, 18. We deployed yeah, oh, together, okay. but we've known what was each it, other 17? off and on for like what, how long? Yeah. Long. yeah. Um, anyway. Hmm. That's that's going to be something I'm going to work on for a while. I'm um, sorry. Not really. You <laughs> only have 48 does? hours to kill it, and you guys right. bought it a day and a half ago. Um, Twist your arm. <laughs> No, I'm not stealing that one. I know that's somebody. I know that's a favorite. Um, turn this guy. This guy here. Turn it. That's the golden. That was six. Okay, this is mine. All right. Rock. I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So it's I'm gonna like work on this. Inferno. <laughs> I'm not taking all of this. No, take all of it. I'm gonna no. see you on the floor in the next couple hours. I might um. <laughs> Have something to say about that. Yeah. Because that's going to help me do my homework. <laughs> I have to get through history. Oh so my much. gosh, we barely touched it. I know. That's crazy. Those things, are, actually, the growlers, they were huge. Yeah. Yeah, like. You fill the growler for $18 and you can refill it for 10 for the for that size. Or right. you can get a smaller size. And they have the name of the we company the and size. the symbol yeah. and. Oh, yeah. Name of the town, like that's that's awesome. I and that in a smaller one, but... oh, to add to, it, we got this awesome little map that every time you, the idea is every time you visit the state, you scrape off the like uh, the cover, like the the scratch offs. We're gonna do it with me, so now we get to scratch off Delaware. Yeah, uh, so, we've already done a couple. We just have this is the first time that we, since we've point? gotten it that <clears throat> we've done it for a channel. Yeah, that we brought it up, so you'll get to see the pictures of that. So, yeah. anyway, um, as always, be great to one another. Drink responsibly. Skull. 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 Ugh. Oh.
Oh, that's good. All right, I'll be the one to pause it.